Yeah, yeah, it's Mad Vibes here, and I'm live in Toronto, Canada, with Han that, that handsome Mike. That handsome Mike. <laughs> going on London, England, the whole UK, all you Empire listeners, big ups from Canada. The first thing I want to ask you, how did you fall into grime? Like, is this from, like, from music from the other side of the world, and then you're clued up about it and everything? So, just through the lifestyle that I was living, you know, grime before the, grime before the music and all that, um, met some people, a couple people based out of the UK, and they had actually connected me with the sound. I'd always been a big fan of hip hop growing up too. I was getting into the electronic music, the whole dubstep thing, the whole like, you know, that 140 BPM tempo. Okay. And I don't know, the more I, the more I listened to it, the more I dug up, the more I just searched for it. I just developed more of a passion and I just had to get more. It's like a drug. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know plenty of people say, I'll say, I'll say that myself. It's like very addictive. I've been there for years and years. It's just, it's a rush yeah, like no other. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you got any plans of coming to the UK at all, visiting us? Definitely. I'm going to try and reach out this summer in uh, 2016. That's uh, going to be a for sure thing. I'm hopefully going to get there within the next few weeks. I have to sort a of few things out, but definitely going to have to touch down, meet, meet a couple of people out there, and uh, I don't know, hopefully bang out some tunes, soak up the scene. Yeah, and, definitely uh, come down to Empire, yeah. come to check the studio. Definitely have to DJ. Reach. There's, there's nights happening all the time in London now. Before, we didn't really get that many, but yeah. now it's, it's like a weekly occurrence. So, yeah, yeah. there's, there's a, few, a few club nights we can visit and everything like that. Definitely be live. It's, it, Grimes, you know, really thriving right now. It's getting a lot of exposure all over the planet. I mean, you got Drake kind of jumping on with the Skepta sort of thing. You've got Timberland making beats with Skits Beats. It's, it's big, you know what I mean? It's a big look. Everybody's doing their thing. Everybody's putting in work. And uh, yeah, hopefully meet more, meet more people, make some connections. Oh, I know you, you've worked with an uh, um, MC that I, I've, I've worked with as well, Zebediah. You got any more plans of working with Zebediah or any other MCs? Definitely. I mean, I've already worked with Zebediah. I'll always send him tracks. The man's an original, so I've got nothing but mad respect for Zebediah. Nice, I was able to work with Katara from Japan, and I've done a lot of work with El Waxo as well. So those guys are definitely on the list of guys I'm going to keep sending beats to. Um, definitely got a few names I'd love to work with. I mean, if I got the chance, Johnny Clayface. If I could, Bugsy from Bristol. Um... Shit, anybody that's really sick and live and thriving and really wants to put in the work and make some magic happen, that's who I'm looking for. That's what I want to do. I like, I like Johnny as well, man. Like, yeah. I was with him a few months ago. Like, he's, 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 he's bars on another level. Like, but he's oh, very, yeah. very conscious. So. Definitely. He's, he's, he's got the brain for it. He's got the mind, and he's really well at putting the words to it. I mean, you got to have respect for him. And the fact that he makes his own beats, stuff like that, it's very yeah, true definitely. yourself, you know, feet to the ground, kind of run with it. So, um, are there any producers or MCs? That, that you look up to in grime, like you, you find inspira inspiration from that. Like. Definitely, Flash G for sure. Big up Flash yeah, G yeah, all Flash day. G. Got mad love and respect for Flash G. Man's kind of you know gave me those mentoring uh, influences. Kind of gave me a push in the right direction and stuff. Gives me great feedback. We stay in contact all the time. Got Buddy Mucky out in LA. We'll uh, bounce ideas back and forth. Yeah, big up Mucky. Oh yeah, big up Mucky for sure. Um, it's a revolving door though, man. Honestly, like. I got this love-hate relationship with music. Like, I'll hear a track one day and I'll think, you know, that's a beautiful track. You know, the bass is banging, the mm -hmm. pattern of the melody is all arranged nicely, you know, clean mix down. And then a week later, I think, like, I could have done that myself. So, like, I started, you know, I go yeah. back and hate on it. And it's like, <laughs> how can I do better, right? But it's give and take. Every I, mean, I think everyone goes through those yeah, yeah, stages. Yeah. Uh, we've, got, we've got the Gunfire rhythm coming out on the GWO EP. That would be out soon. Soon, I promise. <laughs> bless, bless. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that still. I'm trying to get as much hype going over here on this side of the pond. Definitely going to have to keep sending you some stuff. Hopefully we can work on some more projects. Cause you know? I, I like that sound. Cause that, that, the sound you've got there, it reminded me a bit of a wave and slew them. And I, it's just... Definitely. It's I mean, just I, like, you came up and I oh, shit, yeah, it's just, just it, man. I'm trying to, you know, I, 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 I want to I appeal to the grand purists. I want to... I want to still pay homage to the old school, not necessarily doing esky clicks and, you know, square waves and stuff. There's a lot more. Yeah, you know? so there's so many things now, yeah. isn't it? So. I mean, you have, like, the, you have the wafer sound. You had, like, Rough Squad, you know. You, you got so many different types of people that, you know, might not get as much exposure and the, the type of attention that people would be getting as, say, other people, but they're still part of it. They're still in yeah, it. Yeah, of course, so of course. Definitely big up wafer. Yeah, big up wafer, big up all the slew them. Yeah. All of the men in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how, how do you find the slang? Because I know we've got, we use a lot of slang. But I know it's a lot of our slang. It's West Indian orientated. Definitely. I know you've got a big West Indian yeah. um, community here. Anyway. That's definitely. Had a lot of stuff. You know, i got a lot of different friends from all over the place growing up. So I've been fortunate enough to be exposed to a whole lot of different culture. And, you know, constantly listening to grime and catching, you know, what MCs are saying and, you know, figuring it out and just... 
soaking it in like a sponge, really. That's that's really it. I mean, I watch like adulthood, adulthood. I'll still watch like you know, Only Fools and Horses. Um, I'll say you're well best. Yeah, 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 I'm everything. I'm you everywhere. can coach us. <laughs> yeah, that's a top man as well. <laughs> but, um, we're proper geese, proper geese. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, what other releases have you got coming in the future? If it- I'm going to be putting stuff out on my own label that I've started up, Emma Cat Records. Uh, I'm going to be trying to work with a lot of the local heads out here, try and further the scene, get a couple more people on the grind ship. Um, definitely going to be working towards something for 2016. Um, most likely digital, but I mean, if I can get enough momentum going, I'd love to press something out yeah, on hard copy. Yeah. But yeah, all day, every day. So. Um, is it just strictly grime or is it going to be that hip hop as well? Uh, I've got a side project going on. It's called the 289 Stoners. Um, we make more like a trappy hip hop sort of sound. It's a group project with me and a couple of other artists. I mean, obviously, me being a grime producer, I'm going to bring a grimy influence. The elements to it. of yeah. grime and yeah, yeah, be like part that. of it. And then I don't anything really. I mean, I got a couple of different people. Who knows? I might become like an R&B superstar or something like that as well, <laughs> right? So you never know. Yeah, you never you know, know what the teacher holds. Most definitely. All right, Mike. So. Thanks for speaking to me. Yeah, big up. Big ups, man. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate you, uh, you setting out the time for me to come in and do this interview. Definitely going to have to see you when I reach England in 2016 summertime. So, oh, 100%, yeah. 100%. Most definitely, man. Oh, yeah. Big up, man. All right, I'm going to check out madvibes.org. Got to get a little plug in there. <laughs> <laughs> no.